I miscalculated the time that passed since last feeding. I feed this tank once in five days. But it's been a week today and I just and I have just realized it this morning. So for a week I wasn't feeding this tank. And this masseur near Lysichilis, which is close to two feet, maybe 20, 22 inches, that we've had for um, seven years. So it's about maybe eight, nine years old this year. I believe, I didn't catch it, but I think I saw him approach the two redescent sharks. Maybe he was trying to take advantage of, of the wounds on the iridescent sharks that were made by some other fish. But especially like this albino iridescent shark has a bite on her tail, on her anal fin, and on one of the pelvic fins. And I've seen him, I've seen the masseur approach and try to place its mouth on the scratch on the side of this iridescent shark, the big one. So I'm not sure, I, I don't think the masseur have done the damage to this iridescent shark, that scratch right here. Those scratches are not from the masseur because masseur don't have teeth like any carp. But they're predatory. I mean, they don't have biting teeth. They have grinding teeth in their throat. But breaking off the uh, tips of uh, fins like that, that's pretty typical of a masseur damage. So that masseur could have done it, I'm pretty sure. Again, I didn't catch it doing it, but this is my best guess based on the reaction of those iridescent sharks trying to keep away from this masseur. And from me observing from afar, staking out the tank and trying to see who is bothering what, and the Renaissance sharks were bothered by, by the masseur and they were, they were trying to keep away from it as well. See, just like now, the black shark reacted to the nearness of the Neolisachilis. Again, see? Every time it comes near, it starts, tries to swim away, the shark. And the same with the albino too. So that tells me that uh, Masir is bothering them. Even though it's as fat as it can be. Anyhow, that's another lesson for me to keep a better track of maybe write down when I feed fish so that I don't get confused. Yep, did you just catch it? The masseur tried to, to bite the albino, the iridescent shark, and the iridescent shark swam quickly away. When I first saw the damage, I was I thought that was catfish. But when I looked, spent some time and uh, watched the tank, it became apparent, apparent to me that the iridescent sharks were afraid of the of the masseur and not of any other fish in the tank. The possibility remains that uh, catfish have done some damage overnight and the masseur is just taking advantage of the current wounds on these two fish. 
So it um, can't be 100% certain, but what's most clear is that the Masir, at the very least, is trying to take advantage of of the scared and uh, damaged fish. Yeah, he's trying to pick up anything from the bottom, showing that how hungry he is. Picking up debris from the bottom. There is nothing there that's of any nutritional value. Anyhow, I'm gonna feed him now, but I thought I'd film this uh, situation for for posterity as a, and also as a reminder for myself but now we're gonna eat <laughs> 